have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book for flower pressings. Your curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the East, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the West, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's... heavy stuff. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers! It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. Mogilu? Your face has gone all sinister looking! That's her different... different face. Really? Don't get careless! <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, I'm incredible. How about it, Lafayette? Picking up on anything? On to battle! Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. Don't touch it. You'll hurt yourself. In other words, the rest of her is fair game. Not unless you really want to get hurt. Man, I really want to be a way to actually hide these things. What's this? <gasps> A demon! The demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. Okay, sheep. All right. Oh, come on, just find the last thing. Show him how. Wow, look outside. It's the ocean. This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. 
It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believe that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No. I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait, was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. And now that's it. Okay, I kinda hurt that the flower this gave me the skis, but come on. There's no Empyrean here, right, Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails! Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominot certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominot must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. You better be ready. Oh, easy, play. Okay, I guess he's puzzled, man. Well, it wiped out the security for us, but... Morphe's got the crest of Amenoch, the same pendant worn by priestesses. Then that makes this demon... Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina.
Oh boy, we have to fight Amada. Don't just stand there. It's gonna eat you. To think the priestess, beloved by her village, would become a demon. Eleanor? She's never going to be the same again. This is the least I can do for her. So says reason. Huh? That feeling! <laughs> Damn! <sighs> Let the demon be. We don't need it. You really do have a peculiar air about you. Yeah, I don't think you're one to talk. That demon. I guess she caught demon blight when she was looking for her daughter. Yeah, that's what the girl at the inn said. But even after turning into a demon, she's still searching for her daughter. Well... Rokuro, Kuragane, and Dial all remember what they wanted when they were human, right? Demon or not, she's a mother. It's no surprise she would still be protective of her child. It could be that, or it could be something else. Well, I hope that's what it is. I know that must be how she felt as a human, but demons don't have a sense of motherhood or any such thing. You saw how violent she was. She's not Mahina anymore. When she became a demon, she lost all capacity for empathy and love. It's heartbreaking, but it's the truth. Velvet and Rokuro still have empathy. One demon left unchecked could take a hundred lives. And this one's even willing to attack exorcists. Demons can wipe out entire villages, even cities, just as they destroyed my village. Uh. Thus, my path is clear. Eleanor is right. There's no turning back once you've changed. Perhaps it would be a mercy to grant her peace through death. Huh. Is Inomi not really an Empyrean? What makes you ask that all of a sudden? Well, according to the song Grimm deciphered, Inomi not is an eight-headed dragon, right? The Empyreans are supposed to be these holy beings, but using Therians to feed on malevolence sounds more sinister than divine to me. You've got a point there. Empyreans are a type of Malachim, and that doesn't seem like any Moloch we've seen. And even less so when we're talking an eight-headed dragon. Is it so far-fetched? What do you think will happen if the Therians come together in one place? Well, it wouldn't be good. My guess is they'd merge together into a giant, horrific monster. The mighty beast will attack us with its eight long, snake-like necks and eight heads spitting hellfire! I can see your worry. Right? And that's eight heads with only six of us to take them on. It'd be more than we could handle. I'd have to conjure up a double or two. You can do that? Of course not. Then why mention it? Oh! What is it, Luffy said? Do you think each head would act of its own free will? Because if they do, they'd be uncoordinated. 
bumping into each other and going this way and that, giving us an opening. If we fight as one united whole, I know we can win. Yes, if we work hand in hand, victory is ours. Right, everyone? Huh? Us united? Have you looked at us recently? Uh, well, I mean, maybe. It won't open. Is there some sort of trick to it? Well, you could always try busting through it, but I wouldn't. Who knows what sort of traps you might trigger? I know, I know. Look at that diamond-shaped stone in the door. Haven't we seen that somewhere else? You're right. It was on the pedestal with that chalice. That huge thing? You must have some sharp eyes there. I was more interested in what was inside that chalice. So, what? That chalice is the key? Somehow I doubt it'll be that simple. Some stones are colored, and some aren't. It must hold some kind of significance. I think you're right. In case I have to cap here, yeah, it took me a while to solve this. I feel the power coming from further inside. Hmm, how very intriguing. Wait, what? Well, there you are. That barrier again! Looks like we were right. Another Therian. Just as Velvet conjectured, each of the seven heads seems to assume a different form. It was here! Well, look at that. I guess your hunch panned out too, kiddo. This is just how I felt in Ward Forest. That must have been an Earth Pulse point back there too. Well, what are we going to do with this one? Can we get it to shrink like that bug of yours? I don't care whether it lives or dies. As long as we defeat it and take out one of Inominat's heads, that's all that matters. Try not to let it eat you. That'd be very uncomfortable. Now, rise, arise, ascending, angels. Die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! 
Why do I feel this fight is gonna demonetize me? I don't think this Therian's getting any smaller. Wait, did he eat it? Is that Therian eating the demon? must refer to demons then. 
feeding on demons. I know what that's like. <laughs> tried so hard to be strong for you, Mommy. The man from the Abbey made me strong. <laughs> so please, Mommy. Please come back. The Abbey made her strong? By turning her into a Therian? Jeez, those Abbey Jokers really get off on this sacrifice stuff, don't they? I can't believe it. Then... That woman, she was trying to save her own daughter. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! I miss you. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Dying, unable to save her daughter. All she could do was offer herself to feed her hungry child. So, should we bring her with us? Someone like her will only slow us down. That Therian isn't going anywhere! Oh, hey, Oscar. Oscar! What is the Abbey doing? Please tell me, I have to know! Eleanor! The less you know, the better. I must know! I killed her mother, and then the poor girl, she... Ah, so she must have devoured the demon. But don't let that trouble you. The demon was a necessary sacrifice to bring an end to this world's pain and suffering. That wasn't just some demon! She was a mother! She was all this girl had! Her one and only mother. Be that as it may, those who possess strong wings must... It's not nice to make a girl cry. <laughs> Kamawana. It's now or never. Out of the way, Lafayette. Set. Wait! Have you no compassion? This isn't up for discussion. I thought you just wanted to weaken your nominat! You can sever the link! You don't have to kill her! Velvet! Any damage? Oh, hey, do you have to do this every time I like, almost kill them? A change of heart. Apparently, a woman's tears truly do have frightening power. I'm just curious about something Grimoire said. I can always kill this one later. If we're taking her with us, we'd better grab her and go. No sense lingering in the enemy's territory. Hey, Kamawana. My name's Lafayette. Do you want to come with me and my friends and get out of here? Where's my mommy? I'll be lonely without her. You're not alone, sweetie. I promise. Even if she's far away, your mother will always be looking over you. How do you know? Because... That's what my mother does for me, too. Let's go, Kamawana. Okay.
So is this kid gonna be some kind of support or kid? Is Oscar still alive? I'm gonna be surprised if this power is gonna end with something. Oh, level up. 